Hey everyone, uh, God of Gold here. Now, this video, it is a little bit unconventional, because I usually do other stuff, but I am kind of a history person. Um, but what I present to you right now, okay, the person that you're looking at on screen, uh, he goes by the nickname Bud Rogan. And apparently, this guy was the second tallest person in history. Or at least in recorded history by the Guinness Book of World Records. Now, the thing is, is that this guy suffered from a condition called ankylosis, which caused the joints in his ankles, hence the name, to overlap, making him immobile, which is a sad condition to have for anybody, for the matter. But the, what makes this story interesting, and this, of course is an investigation that I've been trying to figure out for a long time. And, well, apparently nobody knows the burial site of this guy. This, um, I know this may come off some of you to be weird to probably look at, but this is actual historic research. This is nothing terrible. There is nothing graphic. Of course, there's nothing graphic because, you know, YouTube wouldn't allow that. But even then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't subject myself to such cruel matter. Now, the historic research I'm doing to try and figure this out is because the whereabouts is a complete mystery. To this very day, nobody knew where exactly the old plot was. Now, let me give you a quick rundown of the family that once have inhabited those grounds. Apparently, uh, this is something that took place basically oh, about 150 years ago, maybe more. And the plot was constructed by the Rogan family, which once settled there. Now, over time, as they settled, it was near Gallatin. And that's, believe it or not, according to research, that's where this guy passed away due to complications from his condition. It's not mainly gigantism, which is definitely a life-shortening condition in itself, but he also suffered from ankylosis, which further shortened his lifespan. But, again, it's not a good condition to have, but uh, back to the story. So, nobody knew to this very day where everything of this guy was. But I think I may have found a clue. And anybody who's watching this, I'll leave, or viewing the description, I will leave a link to this doc that I made uh, in the description. So that this way, you guys can read the evidence that I've gathered for yourself. Um, so according to my research, I have found the original spot of where that, there was a cottage, it was like a stone cottage. I may have found the original spot to where it was. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, it, some people probably already found it already. Well, okay, I understand if maybe 
some people probably knew about it. I don't know if they did. But again, this isn't 100% confirmed, okay? I would probably need to see an expert on this. But judging by the evidence that I have indeed gathered before me today, proves this was the point. This was the plot to where the family once settled and probably where John Rogan is to this very day. Um, now if I scroll down, I, it'll show a GIF of a map. This map shows a past and not so much present. It was 1997 to 2004. So seven years apart and this cottage was actually moved back in 1998. So this footage, this photographic image was taken a year prior to its um, relocation, which is a huge, huge lead in my case in trying to figure this out. So I present to you the GIF. Okay, on the bottom left hand corner, as you can see, it's supposed to say the date, but of course, the stupid watermark had to block it. Uh, but it, but I typed it in just to be sure. So it shows 1997 to 2004 uh, layout of the area. Now, of course, there is nothing mentioned. Like, there's no label in terms of like property number and stuff like that. Just to you know, try and keep people more anonymous. Because I understand, you know, I don't want to ruin that for people. This is strictly for evidence on the case. Nothing more. I cannot express that enough. Now, as you can clearly see, there's a house right here in 1997. But then, when it changed 2004, like it's doing, there's a pit where it originally was. Something tells me, according to my research, that was it. And there's other objects surrounding it, these areas included, but more particularly up here is drawing my eye too, not just this place. But this wasn't here beforehand, which is a huge, it's credible evidence I've looked at all the old maps and I found out that Google Earth Pro was capable of using a time system which allowed me to see photographs from years prior. Now, of course, I found it and that was the likely location to where this house was. And the crater says it all. Just look at that crater for in 2004. I wish I could slow it down, but this gif is automatic, so sorry about that. Um, I've gathered other pieces of evidence too, like uh, of course this is like the Rogan area, so I pinpoint a lot of things. Now, to some of you who are watching this, and you're probably easily offended, I suggest, I probably should have mentioned this, but I suggest you turn the other way, because, well, this is nothing, this has nothing to do with you. This is for historical research only and educational purposes. This is, this has nothing to do with any other sort of matter. Now, I'll leave a link in the description on my case, and I wish you all the best. Goodbye.